Hey, hey, these had ridges. Dust does not have ridges. Do you understand what I'm saying? I learned a lot while I was spying on you guys. Black people have done so many amazing things. Yeah, and you just ate a family-sized bag of them. That's right, honey. Potato chips were invented by a black man. A black man named George Speck, which is unfortunate because it reminds me of what you left me with. A speck, a speck of potato chips. So, are we going to see a comedic reenactment of George Speck creating the potato chip now? No. No, we are not. We're going to do it as a puppet show. No, we got budget cuts. Go sit down. Now. George Speck was born in 1824 in the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York. George was part Mohawk Indian, and he loved to hunt. He also loved to cook what he hunted. He became a skilled chef with a flair for innovating new locally sourced dishes. George <laughs> developed his culinary skills as the head chef of Kerry Moon's Lake House, a famous restaurant on the Saratoga Lake where the wealthy Manhattanites went on vacation. One of his regular customers was noted rich jerk Cornelius Vanderbilt. Chef, get in here this instant. Legend has it that one day Vanderbilt kept sending his french fries back because he thought they were too thick. Still too thick. That lousy no good, I'll give him thin. George got so frustrated he decided to sabotage Vanderbilt's potatoes by slicing them razor thin and frying them to a crisp. <laughs> Delicious. George Crumb, you're a genius. Thank you, sir. But my name is Speck. Whatever you say, Crumb. Vanderbilt got Speck's name wrong and it stuck. Later, he opened his own restaurant and put a basket of chips on every table. Since then, a potato chip has become one of the most beloved snacks in the world. Ah, and that's the story of the snacks that you hogged from me. I left you some chill mix. I picked up the yogurt chips, but I left the raisins. What? Riley. Heather, what are you doing, man? We missing the game. Ooh, anybody gonna eat those slow raisins? Mm-mm-mm. I grew up on dirty raisins.